Well, Floyd Mayweather was hit with a big shot there. You don't see it very often. He's behind on Harold Letterman's scorecard. I'm not sure we've ever seen that at this stage of a fight against somebody like Zab Judah. And the bottom line is, we've got close competition in Las Vegas. May Good body shot by Mayweather. Mayweather hasn't really been challenged since Jose Luis Castillo four years ago. You see when Mayweather throws that straight right, he's just throwing the straight right and falling in. There's nothing that comes after that punch. Here he tried the left hook afterward. But you're right, Lennox. Most times he's thrown the straight right and, and, and wound up falls in his in. Limbs. Yeah. Right. Kind of a John Ruiz thing. <laughs> Not what we would have expected from Floyd Mayweather Jr. Well, I think it's because the left-handedness of Judah it gives him a look that I don't know if he's solved yet. It also puts them very close together. Judah over the top with a straight left hand. Sneak that one through the guard, dude. Mayweather scraping Judah to the body from behind almost. Big left hook attempt by Mayweather. Right. Keep it clean. Watch your hand. Right hand hook by Zab Judah. Good counter punch. Those who suggested that Judah's southpaw style, hand speed, and athletic qualities could give Mayweather the kind of trouble he's never seen before have been right so far. Good quick left hook by Mayweather there. When you're a great athlete, you can find ways to improvise and land on the target. That's what Mayweather did with that little left hook. Judah jabbing and working his shoulder back and forth, giving Mayweather a difficult picture. So you hear cheers in the background for Judah. He is a five to one underdog. Undoubtedly, a lot of that comes from people who have taken the odds. Mayweather landed a crisp left hook to punctuate the round. Zab is doing well in this fight. I mean, he's staying composed. He's not being too wild. He's very focused, and, and this is what you want. Do so, you, you trust me? When you let your hands go, he gonna run. He gonna back up. But you gotta let depth, you gotta let power go, Zab. You gotta give me two or three sequences. One, two, three, four. Boom, boom. Double your shots up. Two hook. Keep starting no body shots. Keep now. walking keep to him. Keep touching him to the body. And keep walking to him. When you keep pressing, he can't fight. Take him to your left. Take him to your left. That's the punch that got the crowd excited. Yeah, go, Larry. Yeah, these are not hurting punches, but they are definitely big scoring punches. In the lower left of your screen, you saw the huge Rhythm and Blues star Usher getting excited about all that. Steve Wynn was sitting right in front of him, incidentally. A lot of famous faces in the crowd here. Round five begins, and in the copy box numbers that you saw between rounds, there was one astonishing stat. Zab Judah has landed 57% of his power punches so far. Now, what's misleading about that is that he's only thrown 44. Mayweather has thrown, by copy box count, almost twice as many power punches. As the fight goes on, that may make a difference. You heard Joel, Joel Judah, Zab's father, asking him to let his hands go and saying when you do it and throw those power punches, he's going to back away. Funny enough, that's exactly the same thing Roger Mayweather across the ring has been saying to his nephew. When you unleash your power punches, he's going to back away. Right hand over the top by Mayweather. He sneaks in a little left hook. Increasingly, Mayweather is the aggressor in the fight. It's always hard to box a southpaw. I've never boxed one, but I know. I've sparred with a couple. Well, Michael Moore didn't quite make it as far as that fight with you that uh, some expected when he uh, won the heavyweight championship. Because, of course, he ran into a little bump in the road called George Foreman. There's a straight right hand, flush for Floyd Mayweather. He is starting to get his offensive game together. That's one of the few times, maybe the first time, that he's really hit Judas squarely. Caught him with a flush right hand and sneaked in another left hook there. Judah misses over the top. Mayweather's accuracy is beginning to come to the fore. Another right hand lands for Mayweather.
Zab should definitely keep his hands a bit higher because when you've got a quick guy in there, you don't want to really give him any too much chances. Mayweather is beginning to hammer Judah with body shots. A left and a right along the ropes there. Judah is fighting less and as a result, taking more leather. Floyd's definitely mixing up his attack now. He's throwing to the body. And like I said, that right hand, he's going to be throwing it all night. He's very effective with it. And you're absolutely right. He saw Judah trying the left uppercut after one of the right hands. There's no question that the strategy to try to stop Floyd's right hand is to burn him with uppercuts. Now, you tell me what he's doing What's now. What's that? This is just a different style. He's saying, well, throw what some that, No, what that is is he's, he's hurt. He's been hit. He's been tagged. And he's trying to give a new look. And it, it doesn't mean a thing. Judah seems almost to be trying to taunt Mayweather, and he lands a left hand, and now he's talking to Floyd. And he catches him with a little right hook. Big left hand for Judah, his best punch of the round, and he taunts Mayweather one more time before leaving the corner. Now, that round was all Mayweather until the last 20 seconds. But you gotta do that as much as you just got. He's nothing, Zab. He's not, no. Zab, he's nothing. But you gotta let him dominate you. He's gonna pot shoot you all night. You let him get off fight. When he let go, do come back. Just do jail. Come back with something. Don't let him hit you and get away. You got to keep it. That's what I say. Hands right here. You smart for all I told you. Don't stop walking. If you had his ass then, don't let the bitch be go confident. Calm it up. Just take your time. You gonna give it up then. Everybody talk. Here's Mayweather having his best round, landing flush on Judah. Judah looked worried about the punches, but took them. Hey, there's my new best friend. <laughs> I met Jay-Z last night. I was hanging with the man. All right. I am hip. Jay-Z was very cool, a nice man, and uh, one of the many Huge stars from the rap and hip-hop world who are here on the scene tonight. Hour and five, Mayweather 18 out of 30 by CompuBox count, Judah three of 16. But the three were all in the last 20 seconds. Judah hammering to the body. Earlier in the fight, Mayweather wasn't bothering to lift his left shoulder in defense of his chin as he's done so often in the past. In the last couple of rounds, he's gone back to that discipline, and that has slowed Judah down just a little bit. Good left hook to the body by Mayweather. Judah tries to retaliate immediately with a right hook to the body. measuring now, he's trying some good straight punches. He's measuring, he just wants to get the, that punch in there accurately. Still relying on that straight right. And Judah is, seems more determined to defend himself than to punch at this time. Keeps throwing the jab out there, keeps getting it caught by Floyd Mayweather's white gloves. Mayweather. Judah trying to reach for something upstairs. Mayweather steps in with a right. Body, body, body. Left hand over the top by Judah. Didn't land. Good defense by Mayweather. He's terrific. He's just too quick. Hard to catch him with a clean punch. Left hook landed solidly for Mayweather. Just scoring. Just putting leather on him. Mayweather definitely wants to stay close to Jab for some reason. He just wants to stay real close to him and give him that kind of pressure. Well, I think deep in his heart, Floyd Mayweather believes that Zab Judah can't handle pressure. And one reason he believes that is because Judah shrunk from the media 
process preceding the fight. Mayweather was relaxed and comfortable enough to spend all the time with the reporters that they wanted, and he said repeatedly, what the heck is wrong with Zab? Judah took a real good left hook at the end of that round. First, don't be second, be first. Keep walking. Keep walking. All you got to do is keep walking. Stay a little bit outside of the street, but get close to him. Okay? Keep walking. That's what I'm going to say. I'm trying to Jeff. Don't, don't worry. Just, just keep your right hand up. When you go in, keep your right keep hand up. Keep your right hand up, Jeff. You try to keep up. He's stealing shots. Oh, hook shots. All right. Oh, yeah, oh, oh. Then he try to walk with Jeff. He's trying to break your body down. Okay. Listen. You got some in? Take your time. Come in, come in. Okay. 